gentlemen, welcome back to Fit Life with Lee. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm really, really excited about this workout. Today we're gonna to be doing a 40 minute beginner workout and these are the types of movements you wanna start working on for when you wanna start resistance training, okay? Training with your weights. So it's always very important to start practicing these movements, body weight first, before you add those resistance, just to get used to the movements and get your technique and your form right. Okay, are we ready? Let's start with the warm up. We're gonna go with a nice little neck stretch. Just gonna look side to side, nice and easy. Remember, watch your posture. Make sure you're standing nice and tall. At the very beginning of your workout, right, let's look up and down. Now we're gonna go for a nice shoulder roll. Let's go. Oh, you should feel some nice little cracks. Weird things happening. I always feel weird little things when I do a shoulder roll. Just nicely rolling forward. Now we're gonna do some rotation. You're just gonna gently step forward, twist the torso, right? Twist the torso. So your hips remain square. Keep your hips facing forward. You're just gonna rotate the upper part of your body, the torso. Good, looking good. Now we're gonna go for a nice little squat, okay? Easy little squat, you don't have to go too low. Just warming up through the backs of the legs. Right, remember to sit down, flat back, right. Push the bum out, keep the chest and the head up. Good. Right, from here we're gonna swoosh down and coming up. Right, let the momentum take you down. You should feel like your chest is landing on your upper thigh there, on your quads, okay? So swoosh down, nice and easy. Good. One more. Now we're gonna get into the backs of the legs, right? You're just gonna flex the foot, straightening out the leg. Keep the leg nice and straight. Flex the foot. Hinging at the hips. Good. Looking good, guys. Keep it going. Right, from here we're gonna get into a knee lift. Okay, knee raise. Nice and easy, here we go. Pace yourselves. Remember, maintain that posture throughout. Keep the body lifted. Nice and tall. Activate. Right, from here you're gonna keep the arms up and you're just gonna gently push the arms back behind the head. Nice. Keep it going. Nice and easy. Maintain the posture. Always forget, engage the core and the tummy muscles. Now we're gonna get into a squat and we're gonna use the arms, okay? So come up. And this time you can get a little bit deeper with your squat. Good. Nice. Lifting out. How are we feeling? Everybody okay? <laughs> nice and easy. 
Just getting ready. Right. Right, now we're gonna get into our last. We're just gonna do a little bit of a hip circle. Both ways. A little bit of balance as well. Good. Keep it going. Nice. Almost there. And relax. How are you feeling? Warm up done, guys. Get your chairs. Remember, this is a chair workout. All the exercises we're gonna, well, most of the exercises we're gonna do today, you're gonna be using your chair. All right, we've got five exercises and we are going to be focusing on form. We're gonna be focusing on technique. The chair is gonna be there to help you with balance and alignment. Okay, so five exercises, 40 seconds on, and then 20 seconds rest in between each exercise. Okay, so your first exercise, all that you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit down as controlled as possible and standing up and squeezing up the glute, okay? So you've gotta think, you've gotta really, really sit down nice and carefully, nice, gently, 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 nice and controlled. Okay, get ready. And here we go. So when you sit, when you stand up, I want you to try not overextend forward. You've got to just sit down, stand up, still straight, body in a straight line, and squeezing up the glutes. Right? Let's go. Nice and easy. Straight, straight, straight. Backs. Keep the chest up. Nice and easy. Good. Looking good, guys. One more. And relax. Right, now, you're gonna stay seated on your chair, and for the next exercise, you're just gonna lift up and try and be towards the edge of the seat, okay? And you've gotta control your knees. You're gonna lift your knees up using your abs, okay? But the thing is, you've got to maintain the posture, okay? So a lot of the times when we're seated like this, you want to kind of lean in backwards. Well, you, you, you kind of like this, right? You don't want that. You want to lift out, sitting nice and straight. Your back and your posture, everything is lifted, right? That's the difficult part. Let's try. How are we doing with this one? Getting there, it's hard, eh? It's not as easy as it looks. It's all about maintaining that good posture, right? Keep it going. Nice, guys. And relax, right? Now we're gonna come for a push-up. Okay, don't be alarmed. We're gonna use the chair to help, okay? So what I want you to do is maintain a nice straight line in your body, right? Shifting back, the, 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 the closer you go, the easier. So you wanna work your way until you can do it from a nice distance. Okay, make sure that your shoulders are facing the back of the room, right? You don't want your shoulders to be out to the sides like this, right? Keep them facing back. And engage that core, keep everything nice and lifted. Can you see my body is in a straight line, right? That's what you want. Keep it going. Nice and easy. Good guys, good, good, good. Keep it going. And relax, right? Now we're gonna come to a little bit of a glute kickback. You're gonna have a straight leg using the chair as balance, but I don't want you to you put to push all your weight into it. It's just there for balance, so hold on, right? And you're gonna lift up, lifting up the glutes. Keep a little bit of a bend in your left leg, okay? Keep a little bit of a bend and keep time, keep the right leg straight, okay? So you really don't have to lift this leg high, okay? You've gotta keep your torso nice and stable and nice and straight. Okay, so look at me quickly. I don't want 
that. That, keep everything steady and lifted. The only thing that's lifting is your leg, look at that. Control. My torso is not moving out of place. Everything is lifted and stable. How's that? Everybody good? Remember you've got to squeeze that glute when you lift that leg, okay? So let's go again on the other side. Little bit of bend in the knee, in the stabilizing leg, and you're gonna lift, let's go. Nice and easy, keep the chest up, keep the torso stable. No movement in the torso. It's just the leg lifting, okay. And also just use the chair for balance. I don't want you to, to really put all your weight into this chair. It's literally just to hold on to, okay. This is the last exercise here, guys. So this is actually four exercises because we're doing one of them on both legs. Okay, so let's go. Squeeze that glute on the top, squeeze it up, and relax. We've got a 30 second break, how are we feeling? Everybody good? Everybody still happy? Nice and easy, you're managing okay? You guys are looking good, right? We've got to really, really focus on that technique. Very, very important, okay? Before you want to add weights to exercises like these, you've got to get the technique and the form right. We're going to go back to exercise one, right? We're going to just do it one more round, exactly the same thing, and then we move on to the next circuit with different exercises. Let's go. 40 seconds. Remember what I said about lifting the core? Well, lifting the the chest, right, and activating the core and the abs, right, support yourselves, don't just sit down normally like you would normally sit down on a chair, you've got to think I've got to control this movement nice, nice and gentle, softly, 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 good. Now we've got the knee lift, let's go. Control, lift yourselves out of your hips, out of the chair, little bit on the edge. And remember, engaging the core and you're just gonna lift. Right, you don't even have to lift the leg high. Okay, just as far as you can go is fine. We're practicing control now of your core muscles, your back, everything is lifted. Okay, we wanna get you to be able to control your bodies and not that, okay? Don't close anything up. Lift yourselves out of your chair. Keep the chest up. Nice and strong, nice and confident. Good. Killing it, guys, keep it going. This is the last round of this circuit and then we move on to another, okay. Right, let's go to our push-up. Remember what I said, straight line from the knee, straight line, up, 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 up. Elbows facing the back of the room. Are we ready? Here we go, nice and easy. Good, now you've got to feel like you Pushing yourself out of this chair, pushing yourself away, using your arms, okay? When you're there, you've got to feel like you are literally pushing yourself out of the chair. Keep the pelvis tilted, okay? Keep the pelvis tilted, so you don't want to be here. No bums, no bums, guys. Keep the pelvis lifted and in, okay? Straight line, tilted pelvis. Nice. Almost there. And relax. Right, we're going back to our straight leg. Glute kick back. Okay. So remember, alignment. Keep everything nice and lifted. Literally just touching this chair, the chair, the, the, the top part of the chair, so that you're just balancing yourselves. Okay. So here we go. Lifting up. Right leg first. So in your left leg, you've got to just keep a little bit of a bend. Now remember what I said about the torso, 
nothing changes. You've got to tie and keep that torso as stable as possible. Okay, try not to bend it or change anything there. Keep the right leg straight, squeeze that glute on the top. Right, so when you lift, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It should feel rock hard when you give yourself a little poke on that butt cheek. Okay, and relax. We're going to the other side. Everybody good? Here we go. So, a little bit of a bend in the right leg. Straighten out the left. Keep the hips square. So you've got to try and keep the hips square to the chair. Okay, get ready. And lift, squeeze up the glute. Keep the core tight. Keep the tummy tight. Tight. Good, good, good. Are we squeezing those glutes or not, guys? Squeeze it up, right? Don't be lazy, activate. Okay, you've got to activate. Every single movement that you do, there's some kind of activation going on. Okay, so keep it going, nice and easy. Good. This is the last exercise here, and then we're gonna move on to our second circuit. Right, are we good, guys? Take a little breather, take some water if you need to and we'll move on to our second circuit. Okay, so take your breather, take whatever you need, take some water, anything you need just to recoup, and we're gonna go for your second circuit. Okay, so now for your second circuit, again, we've got four exercises again. Okay, but the last exercise you're gonna do on both sides again, like we did for the glute kickback. Okay, so you could say four exercises again, 40 seconds working, 20 seconds rest in between. We're gonna go for two rounds, okay? So your first exercise, you're gonna do a reverse lunge. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna hold on. Now I want you to really, really check that you're stepping back wide enough, okay? Because the, the whole aim here is you want to be able to have this alignment where your knee, look where my knee is, it's in line with my ankle. Okay, so keep going and I want to show you. Keep going. You don't wanna be there, right? Can you see how the knee's going over? You've gotta push backwards so that that knee is nice and in line with your ankle, right? Good. And relax. Now we go for chair taps. So for your chair taps, all you're gonna do, you're nice and lifted, you're just gonna tap your toe up onto the chair. Right. Getting into the abs, nice and easy. So now depending on your flexibility, or the height of your chair actually, sometimes the chair might be too high and you, you feel like you can't lift, that's fine. I want you to tap just in front of you, okay? Tap in front of you, otherwise you're tapping and you're lifting up, lifting that knee up. Keeping the posture and activating the core, opening up the chest. You've got to feel strong, you've got to feel confident, okay? Lift yourself up and relax. How was that? Everybody good? We're gonna get into some calf raises now. So again, holding on for balance. If you don't need to hold on, that's fine. You can do it just like that, if your balance is cool. See how you feel? You're gonna lift up onto the balls of the feet, nice and high. Okay, so let's go. Good. Like I'm literally just holding on with two fingers here. Just so I've got a little bit of balance. Okay, don't be scared guys. Lift up, 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 up. Onto the tippy toes, onto the balls of the feet. Okay. We're gonna feel this later on. If this is a movement that you haven't done in a while, or if it's something you haven't done at all, you're gonna feel those calves, definitely. Definitely, keep it going. Activate the, the, the calf muscles, okay? Really, really flex. Good, and relax. Now, we're gonna do another glute kickback, but now the only difference is 
we are going to literally kick back like little kick okay not the straight leg so set yourself up the same way like you did for the straight leg and all you're gonna do is kick back and keep that posture keep that stability in the in the torso like I was talking about and look back as you kick okay look back at your foot if your leg isn't high enough and you can't see your foot that's fine don't stress still look back nice and easy good 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 getting into those glutes and the stabilizing leg okay so the leg that's stable onto the onto the ground the one that's not kicking that's where the work is going into yes and relax how are you feeling everybody good you guys are looking amazing keep it going we are almost there okay we've just got this exercise then we're gonna repeat everything once more okay and then we're gonna end off with some abs glutes and planks okay it's gonna go by very quickly okay here we go kick back kick back really just use the chair for balance okay nice if you can look over your shoulder and look at your foot nice good 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 remember the work is going into the stabilizing leg okay in this case your right leg I'm not sure what which leg you guys started on I wasn't clear but it doesn't matter as long as you're doing both sides relax right 30 seconds to just take a breather and take a little a little break and we go again so oh I'm positioning my chair wrong we're going into the lunge so look holding on nice and wide step okay a lot of the times when we do lunges you always feel that wobbly thing you like <laughs> so now Practice using the chair for the balance and as you start to practice this right you will start feeling the stability like okay can I actually let go without wobbling let's see right hold okay this takes practice lunges are not an easy exercise it's not like a squat where both your feet are flat on the mat okay this one you're actually balancing because you've got a toe back there you're on your toe at the back right? so practice 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 makes perfect good right let's go for the chair tap okay standing tall standing straight you're just gonna tap up nice and easy okay using the core using the tummy to lift up we're looking good guys how are we feeling should be feeling good we are finishing this workout today you're going to be so proud of yourselves okay nice control okay the main thing about technique and form is control. You've got to gain control of your body. Right? You've got to really, really make sure that you are doing control, slow and controlled movements. Okay. Good. Right. One more exercise. Oh, now I'm lying. Sorry, guys. Just ignore me. We're going for car places. <laughs> okay. So remember, hold on. very very easily okay just for your balance again if you want to try and practice a few without see how you feel remember the balance comes from the stability in your core so you've got to activate that pull everything in right good 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 Come on guys, nice and high. You can go higher than that. Come on. Onto the balls of those feet. That's it. Flex those calves, guys. Come on. And relax. Right. 
Now we're gonna do our glute kickback. Okay, so remember, let's, let's start with our right. We're gonna kick the right leg back first. Left leg is a little bit bent. Keeping the torso nice and straight and lifted. And you're gonna kick. Let's go. Looking over the shoulder. Keep a little bit of a bend in that knee. Watch the body alignment. Guys, a good way to check this is to record yourselves. Okay? It really, really does help when you, especially when you're looking at form. Okay? Checking your form, checking if your alignment is good, is right. So don't be scared to whip out those phones, guys. It doesn't have to be for anything, it doesn't have to be for posting. It's just for yourself and your progress. Okay. Good. And relax. Everybody good? We've got one more. Other side. And then you're going to have a nice little break while I explain the last, the very, very, very last little circuit. Okay, floor work. So, little bit of a bend in the right. And we kick back, looking over the shoulder. Good. Eventually, you want to try and see if you can kick without holding on, right? That serious control, right? So, these are the things you want to start working towards, okay? And the only thing that's going to help is practice. Okay, practice is all it takes. You've got to do these movements consistently and regularly until you start feeling, hey, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And then you add your weight. Right, once you know your technique, once you feel comfortable with all the movements and it's like easy for you, we add those weights. Okay, and then we are on the right track. Okay, how are we feeling? We're gonna do a little bit of abs. The first exercise, we're only gonna do three exercises and we're gonna do three rounds of it. Okay, so you're gonna come down. We're gonna do an elevated crunch. Okay, so you're gonna lie down. You're gonna lift your legs up onto the chair and from here, your lower back is firm into the ground. There shouldn't be a gap here. So it means that you have to tilt your pelvis up so that you can close the gap. Does that make sense, guys? So from there, you're gonna lift and crunch. Right, crunching up, nice and easy. Blow out all the air when you come up, okay? We're gonna go for 30 seconds. And there's a 15 second break in between. Okay, so let's go. 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Control, you've got to really, really engage the core muscles here and not let go of them, okay? So activate, I mean, pull the tummy in and keep it there. Even when you're releasing downwards, don't let go, okay? A lot of people crunch up and then they just relax and plop down, okay? You've got to control it all the way. All the way, up and down. Right, from here, you're gonna shift your chair back a little bit. And we're gonna come up for a glute bridge, okay? So all that happens here, you're just gonna lift up the pelvis towards the ceiling and squeeze the glutes nice and high, up towards the ceiling. Good. Squeeze those butt cheeks, guys, squeeze. Right? Eventually, when you feel comfortable with movements like these, you're going to put a little bit of a weight just here in, 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 the, hip, in the hip crease. Right? And you lift with weights. Okay. So first, start feeling comfortable here. That's it. And now we go for our plank. Okay. So for plank, again, like your push-up, you've got to create that straight line. Okay. So come down onto your elbows. And from here, you're just going to hold. Okay. There you go. So look at my body. I want you to see that I'm creating a straight line. From my knees up to my chest, I've got a straight line. You can either be here, see if you can come up to there. Okay. Onto your hands. You've got a straight line from the knee. So you're not there. Push that pelvis in towards the mat. Tilt it inwards. And that's your plank. Okay. 
that, guys. Let's go back to the elevated, elevated abs. Here we go, elevated crunch. Sink the lower back into the mat, so it means lift the pelvis up. And we crunch, let's go for 30 seconds. This is your second round of work. We've got three to go. Well, one more to go after this round. Don't know what's up with my counting today. <laughs> oh. Keep it going, guys. Remember what I said, engage both ways. Don't let go of your core. When you release down, keep it tight. Keep it tight for the full 30 seconds. One more. And relax. Right. Push the chair back. And here we go for glutes. Glute bridge. Remember, you've got to tilt the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Squeeze the butt cheeks together. So when you're up there, test yourself. Do a little poke. Is it hard or not? You've got to squeeze it so tight that it's super, 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 super hard, those muscles, right? Keep it going. Nice. Good guys, we're looking good. We are almost at the finish line. We are almost there, finishing strong. Right. And relax. Right, getting into the plank. So remember, you can either be on your elbows or you can be on your hands, but you've got to make sure that you are pushing your pelvis forward and creating that straight line. Right, so you're there. Squeeze the bum as well. Right, engage the glutes. You're either here or you are there. Hold. And when you're in this position, you are stable. Your body is not moving, you are a statue. Okay? Keep the core tight, 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 tight. Nice. Focus, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Mind over matter. You can do it. And relax. We've got one more round. One more round. Let's go. This is the last. We're at the finish line. And then we go for a nice cool down. Okay. Here we go. Well done, guys. We're almost there. Here we go. Crunching up. Maintain that activation throughout going up and going down and take your time okay the slower you go the better okay the more controlled it's gonna be and the harder of course as well so slow it down and really really practice that control and that activation and relax right let's go for our last glute bridge here we are Nice and easy. Okay, lifting out. Now, if you can, I want you to try and do this last one on your heels. Let's go. Okay, so when you go heels, you get more into the hamstrings. Okay, so try. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you now, that's totally fine. You can do it flat feet. But you're still squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Okay, just you on your heels that's the only difference good and relax last exercise let's go for that plank here we are here we are creating that straight line okay you either way or you're up here okay how are we doing are we okay straight line good if you can and if you want to try and see if you can manage on the toes, you'll be there. Okay? Come on, you can do it. Try for five seconds at least. Okay. And then you can come down again onto the knees whenever you feel ready, but you've got to control it. Okay. Always challenge yourself and see if you can move up a level. And relax. Well done, guys. How are you feeling? We have managed to complete this workout. You have managed to complete it. I want you to feel, you should feel so proud of yourself, okay? Remember, these are the type of movements you want to work, work on so that eventually you want to add those weights, okay? Weight to weight, weight training, resistance training. Always, always such a good idea to incorporate, okay? Really, really make sure you're incorporating strength training into your, um, 
into your workout schedules. Okay, right guys. Let's come down, nice and easy. Cross the legs, okay? We're gonna start with a nice side bend stretch. Just there, nice and easy. <sighs> Open up the chest, still maintain a good posture, even in a seated position. And relax, other side. Well done everyone. Gorgeous work. And coming up right, we're gonna get into the arms, get the left arm flat down. Just push it down towards your, your chest. Nice. Watch yourself, are you seated like that? Or are you lifted out? Okay. Posture, very important. Now I want you to lift the arm up and all that you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that elbow back, just there. Just hold there, okay. Nice and easy. Feel it out in your body. If you're not that, that flexible, sometimes this one might feel a bit uncomfortable, but just take it easy, okay? You don't have to force anything, don't force any of the movements, very important. Just go what's comfortable for you. Do what's comfortable for you. Lifting up. Wonderful work, guys. Form, technique, super, super important. Okay, so I hope you learned something today just about body alignment and lifting yourself out, um, keeping your chest up. Okay, so you're gonna lift, you're gonna get your left leg over your right and pulling your leg towards your body. Now, if this is too much for you, you can straighten out your right leg. Okay, and you just hold there. So you'll feel it nice here in your glute, okay? Just hold. The more you pull towards your chest, the more you're gonna feel it, okay? Lovely stuff. And relax, other side. So you're gonna pull towards the chest, and just hold there. If you can, you're gonna be here. Remember with the stitches, don't force anything, guys. Really just do what's comfortable in your body, okay? Right. Nice work, guys. You're gonna bring out both your legs in front of you. So straighten them out. And if they don't straighten, if you've got a bend in the knee, that's fine. Okay, whatever's good for you. And I just want you to hinge forward a little bit and hold on to wherever's comfortable. If it's on your thighs, if it's on your, your shins, it doesn't matter. You're just gonna lean forward wherever's comfortable and you just hold. Well done, everyone. Please let me know how it went, how you're feeling. Okay, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget, if you like these workouts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And just let me know, give me some feedback. I really, really appreciate the feedback. If you want any more additional workouts to, to the YouTube, I do have some stuff on my Instagram page, technique videos, okay? Up there now is a squat technique video and a, and a push-up technique video. So do head your way over there. If that interests you, I do post some meal meals as well, meal ideas, healthy meal ideas, and some tips. So if, if that interests you, please do go ahead there and, and follow. Um, and don't forget to let me know how it went, okay? I'm always, always keen to hear about your journeys. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time.